Hello everyone, welcome to today's pre-market analysis for 3rd October 2024. We have a lot to cover from SEBI's new FNO rules to key market updates including the global scenario, important levels and trading strategies for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Let's start by briefly addressing uh, SEBI's new regulations that aim to reduce speculations in the FNO market. If you missed SEBI's recent announcement on October 1st, there are six major changes, three of which will be implemented from November 20th, 2024. These include a change in contract size and a restriction on the number of weekly expiries allowed per exchange. The new contract sizes for options will now range between rupees 15 to 20 lakhs up from the current 5 to 10 lakhs. This may impact volumes temporarily but will likely stabilize over time. It's not going to affect the options buyer much. Regarding this, I will do the separate video. Uh, moving to market activity, Tuesday was an important day especially for those who follow Bank Nifty. We saw strong upward momentum in the morning but the market soon trapped traders. Despite some sharp moves early on, the market mostly consolidated throughout the day, ultimately giving no clear direction. For today, with Nifty's weekly expiry looming, we must be extra cautious especially with the volatility from the new SEBI rules. Now looking at global queues, the US markets ended uh, flat last night after taking a hit earlier in the week. Dow Jones was down by 4%, S&P 500 lost 1.53% and VIX surged by 15% crossing the 19 level indicating heightened volatility. One of the reasons for this nervousness is the escalating conflict between Israel and Iran which also pushed the uh, crude oil prices up by 2%. US job data released yesterday was more or less uh, neutral with 1,43,000 jobs added, slightly above expectations. But overall, US market remained jittery and we can expect this nervousness to reflect on our markets today. For the Indian market, Gift Nifty is indicating a gap down opening of about 100 points, equating to a negative start for both Nifty and Bank Nifty. FIA activity was a big story yesterday. FIA turned into a significant net sellers with 5,600 crores sold, rupees sold in the cash market, while domestic investors provided some relief by buying 4,600 crores, uh, crore rupees worth of shares. In the derivatives market, FIA is where net sellers almost across the board and it appears they are hedging their positions heavily. This further adds to cautious tone ahead of today's session. Now, let's dive into the technical levels and analysis for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday, Bank Nifty opened with a 130 point gap down and closed just below the 53,000 level. The index extended its fall for the third day in a row, forming a small bullish candle with a long upper shadow indicating selling pressure at higher levels. Despite this, Bank Nifty managed to defend the 52,600 support level. For today, keep an eye on 53,250 which will act as immediate resistance. A breakout above this level could propel Bank Nifty towards 53,550 but failure to breach could lead to a further downside with a support at 52,000. 52,650. On Tuesday, Nifty also showed a weak performance, opening with a positive bias but remaining range bound throughout the day. Technically, Nifty formed a doji pattern signaling indecision in the market. The key resistance level remained at 25,900. As long as Nifty trades below this level, the sentiment will remain weak with support around 25,650. A break above 26,000, however, could spark some upward momentum. With the weekly options data, the maximum call open interest is at 26,000 followed by 26,500. This indicates strong resistance levels on the upside. On the put side, the maximum open interest is at 25,000 signaling support around that area. Now, to summarize, global sentiment remain cautious, FIS are selling heavily and SEBI's new FNO rules may add to the market's volatility today. Keep a close watch on key levels, reduce your exposure and trade with a neutral mindset. A breakout above 26,000 in Nifty could signal uh, an upside while failure to sustain above key support levels may result in further downside pressure. That's all for today's pre-market analysis. I hope you found this helpful and guys please note this video is only for educational purpose and I'm not an investment advisor. So um, uh, and also I do not have any uh, telegram channel or any social media platform where I give uh, calls or uh, manage portfolio. So please be aware of that and don't get into such traps. 
So that's it guys. See you in the next video.